Hi everyone, just going to show you how to fix the side buttons not responding properly on the um, Steel Series Rival 300. So we're just going to remove the feet off the mouse here. Uh, they're just stuck on. So I just used a little flat blade screwdriver to get underneath and pop them off. Make sure you be a bit careful when you take them off. Keep them aside, sticky side up, so you can put them back on later. This one's a bit stuck. Use a pair of tweezers to get it off helps. The bottom feet are a bit bigger. The sticky surface is a bit bigger. So I use a, um, I use the screwdriver to get it started. And then I've got a, um, one of those wide, flat um, spudges to get it off. Makes it a bit easier. So once you get the feet off, next we just need to undo the four Phillips head screws that are under the feet. Just a bit smaller than your average one so a little um, security toolkit will um, be able to get them off once you've got all four screws out the base comes off fairly easily from the top and just be careful when you pull it apart there is a connection cable between the bottom and the top and that connection cable goes to the bit at the top where the um, receivers for those two side buttons are so we just undo that cable there uh, it just pulls out directly quite easily and once you've got that out you can see there that's the little circuit board where the switches are two Phillips head screws on there as well, just take those off. And you can see that's the two switches that the side buttons click into. Let's get the camera to focus up here. If you can see, they're actually bent backwards um, at a bit of an angle. So we've bent them back straight again and we just put the circuit board back in put the screws back in Plug the connector back into the base of the mouse. And put the top back on. Fits in nice and neatly. Put our four Phillips head screws back in. and then stick the feet back on. Now you just need to be a bit careful to make sure you line these up exactly with the cutouts in the base of the mouse, otherwise they'll sit up a little bit. So just be careful, just push them down, smooth them out. They never seem to go on as nice as when they come off, but they're, um, they're still fine once they go back on. I just push them down nice and flat with the back of the screwdriver just as a nice smooth surface to rub them flat 
and buttons all nice and clicky again.